Hello and welcome to Skincare Plans. I'm Justin and I am so excited because today is our first video. Now what is Skincare Plans? Well, one day a few weeks ago, two months ago now actually, my wife and I woke up and we both thought our skin looks like trash and decided we were going to do something about it. So we got really into skincare. We started reviewing products, looking at other tutorials, watching our diet, and drinking enough water so that we could improve our skincare, and we've seen a pretty remarkable difference. So we started a website and now a video series on skincare tips where we will be giving tutorials, reviewing products, talking about general skincare themes. If you're into that, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notification on our videos. So what's going to be our topic for our first video? Well, we're going to talk about something that I've been really excited about and been trying for the, the past few weeks now, and that is snail mucin. What's snail mucin? It is the slimy stuff left by snails when they're moving around. So why are we talking about that? Well, it has become one of the hottest crazes in South Korea for skincare and K-beauty. There's been studies out that talk about how useful it's, it is in making your skin stay younger and healthier. Uh, in France, there are many people who work in the wine industry who noticed that they were interacting a lot with snails as they were picking uh, grapes, and their hands, the, the, the wrinkles, the smoothness, the softness, it all improved the more that they held the snails. So as a result of these studies and anecdotal, anecdotal findings, we have had an explosion in snail mucin products for skincare. And today I'm going to talk about two of my favorite that have entered my skincare routine. And that is the Petite Fay Gold and Snail Face Mask and Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-Around Cream. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to apply the face mask. And before we do that, a couple important things about face masks. One, you need to make sure your face is clean uh, and washed. And if you have a beard, you need to shave it. Otherwise, the mask is not going to stick. Next, before you put on the mask, uh, it's not a bad idea to apply a little bit of a uh, serum. And serums are lightweight, water-based uh, lotions, and I'm using today the Pyongyang Yo Moisture Serum, which you can see. Just a little bit, one little squeeze, get it nice and lathered, and just apply to the face. This helps to prepare the skin to soak up all of the essence and other great things that are in the mask. So next, we're gonna open up the mask and it's a fancy package. All right, and it is a little bit slippery and slimy. And that is not just this mask, but that's all masks. This mask comes in two pieces. First, we have the, the eyes. And next, we have the mouth. So we'll start with the eyes first. And you need to peel off the paper. Set that aside. and poke out the eye slits because we don't want to get the snail mucin into our eyes. Okay, 
Now this is not like the paper masks. It's a little bit more gelatinous than most face masks, which I think it makes it a lot easier to actually put on and get good coverage all over your face. You don't have to work quite so hard to get the air pockets and air bubbles out and you get pretty good skin to face mask contact. Next, we're gonna take the mouthpiece and punch out the hole for the mouth. Set that aside. Take the paper off of the mask. and apply. Make sure you get good coverage all over your face and just go ahead and squeeze a little bit off of your hands onto the parts of your face and neck that don't have any coverage. Get your ears as well. So now we're gonna let the skin soak this up and it is coated with a lot of snail mucin. So sit back, relax, wait 15 minutes, and then we're gonna take it off. All right, now it's time to take the mask off. Pretty easy, just peels right off. Top and bottom. Now, when I use a mask, I don't like to waste anything. So I will grab the packet, roll it up, and try and squeeze out anything left, left in that packet. See, we got a few, a few drops in there. Rub it around. Get, get it on your face and neck so it can soak up. Great. So now, what's our other product? We're gonna be doing the Cozyrex Snail 92. This is 92% snail mucin. You're gonna notice it is very, very slimy. Get a little bit, well, on as much as you want on our finger. See, it's very sticky and slimy. You don't need a ton. A little bit goes a long way. And it's a great finisher for after the mask. Just apply like you would any other moisturizer. Don't get it in your mouth, don't get it in your eyes, but get it close. And that's it. That's our snail mucin routine. And I've definitely noticed that there's a pretty big impact since, uh, since starting this routine. Uh, and I'm doing the mask about once a week and I use the uh, Cosrx 92 uh, every morning and every night. Definitely a big difference on my skin. It is much softer, much smoother, and I have a very big crease across the middle of my forehead that I've had since a, a teenager, and even that started to fill a little bit uh, and get less noticeable. What I really love about this routine is that it is very luxurious, but it is also pretty affordable. The Cosarex Snail 92 All Around Cream goes for about 19 bucks for a 100 milliliter jar. And the uh, Gold and Snail face masks are a little bit more expensive than your typical face mask, but they are hydrogels. You can get a five pack uh, for like $12, so that puts them a little over $2 a piece, which is still pretty, pretty good for what the, they do for your skin. So I highly recommend this routine and 
uh, yeah. If you guys find these videos uh, useful, please hit that like and subscribe button. My wife and I will be doing a lot more. We'll have more face masks, we'll have more uh, lotions, we'll have more tips and tricks and things that we've discovered along the way that we're excited to share with you. So remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get noticed.